Have you ever looked at certain animals and thought they looked amazing with certain colorations? Have you ever thought that animals with white coat look the most beautiful? Well guys and gals, today in this video we will be looking at 10 most beautiful white colored animals you probably haven't heard of before ever. And also in our list, we have a bird that has actually become famous in a Hollywood movie. So guys, stick around to the end. Okay, so let's get started as always with number 10, the ptarmigan. You can find the ptarmigan pretty much anywhere inside the Arctic Circle, as it tends to prefer colder climes. They love to eat buds, berries, and shrubs, and the type they prefer tends to be located in hard-to-reach locations, so typically they tend not to have too many natural predators, ensuring this species of bird at least is not in any danger of going extinct. If you're in an area known for ptarmigans, you should be able to tell them apart from any other bird in the area as the males make a snoring noise when confronting other males during the breeding season. Number nine on our list today is nine, the snowy owl. If you've ever seen any of the Harry Potter films, you'll know just what the snowy owl looks like because it's the same type of owl that Hagrid bought for Harry as his 11th birthday present. In real life, however, you won't need to try and find Hogwarts to see a snowy owl as their natural habitat is around the Arctic Circle, across Northern Canada, Scandinavia, and Siberia. Unusual for owls, the snowy owl actually hunts during the daytime rather than at night, using her mostly white plumage to camouflage herself against the gray skylines whilst hunting her normal prey of the lemming. Unfortunately, the snowy owl is officially labeled as vulnerable in terms of how many are actually left in the wild. Let's hope there's some magic out there somewhere that can help build the numbers back up on this amazing bird of prey. Our choice for number 8 is the white husky. If you've seen a husky before, you've probably seen them pulling a sled anywhere there's snow. However, most of the time, huskies are a mix of different colors, typically gray and white, red and white, and very occasionally, all white. The true white husky isn't to be confused with the Alaskan husky or the Malamute as these guys are completely different breeds of dogs. A true white husky will be born from Siberian husky parents. Huskies are amazing dogs. Originally bred by the Chukchi people of Siberia, where else? They were meant to help in every aspect of this nomadic tribe's way of life, including hunting, transporting big heavy loads across incredibly difficult terrain, and guarding the family against any potential predators. In fact, the husky's temperament is so good that members of the Chukchi are said to have used huskies as a kind of doggy duvet, getting them to cuddle up with the younger children to keep them warm. They would determine how cold it was by the number of huskies it would take to make the duvet, so a three husky night or a four husky night if it was really cold. Number seven on the list is the white rabbit. So nothing to do with the white rabbit from Lewis Carroll's book Alice in Wonderland, white rabbits are not a specific breed of rabbit that stands on its own in terms of evolution. These guys are just white colored rabbits that tend to look quite cute. You can find rabbits pretty much anywhere around the world, and they're one of the most popular pets you can buy, along with dogs and cats, as the phrase you need to say on the first day of the month before you say anything else. Do this, and the tale goes that you will have incredible luck for the rest of the month. At number six, we have the Arctic fox. As you might expect, the Arctic fox can be found in many places in the Arctic. It's believed the modern Arctic fox is descended from an ancient ancestor that used to live on the Tibetan Plateau and the modern variant has migrated further north in search of new hunting grounds and places to thrive. These days, you're likely to see one if you get a chance to visit places such as northern Canada, Greenland, Siberia, and possibly parts of Scandinavia. However, whilst the Arctic fox has been a protected species in Scandinavia for many years, it's believed there are only a few hundred left. In the rest of its natural habitat, you'll likely see the fox in all of its splendor during the colder winter months. As for the rest of the year, its coat changes to a dirty gray brown color rather than the gorgeous white. Number five is the polar bear. Possibly one of the most incredible animals you could see, the polar bear is the master of his domain. Unfortunately, that domain is shrinking each and every year due to climate change and human ingression into their natural habitat. The polar bear is an incredibly important part of the spiritual life of the indigenous people that share the Arctic wilderness with them. For thousands of years, the white bear has been vital in ensuring that native people such as the Inuit, Chukchi, Pomors, and others can survive the harsh conditions in the life of the Arctic Circle. In other cultures, humans are still able to hunt polar bears recreationally, wanting the fur as nothing more than a trophy. In recent years, this has put enormous pressure on the ability of the polar bear to survive. Right now, the polar bear is officially listed as a vulnerable species. 
let's hope they can survive and prosper. Number four on our list is the swan. If you live in the more temperate areas of the world, such as Western Europe, Northern Russia, and Siberia, and other parts of the Northern Hemisphere, you've probably seen plenty of swans. They're one of the biggest bird species on the planet, or at least the ones that can fly. There are typically three types of swans. These are known as trumpeter, mute, and whooper swans. They all effectively look very much alike and are only classified as different family of swan due to the noise each one will make. Almost all swans are brilliant white across their entire body, however, you can find a black swan variant in Australia. At number three on our list today is the white peacock. Normally, you'd expect to find peacocks in blue and green coloration, but there are some very rare white peacocks that look absolutely stunning. Whilst many believe them to be albino, they're actually not. Instead, unlike some of the other animals in our list today, white peacocks get their coloration due to a condition called leucism. This is a genetic mutation that affects the pigmentation cells that create different colors, resulting in all white peacocks. You can find peacocks in most parts of the world as they are generally held in some form of captive environment. You may well find white peacocks there too. The natural habitat for peacocks generally is India, so if you get the chance to visit, see if you can find one in the wild. Okay, so number two on the list is the white tiger. Like the white peacock, the white tiger also has a lucidic pigmentation condition that means its fur is white instead of the more typical orange that you'd normally find on a tiger. However, white tigers are also bigger and heavier than their orange-furred cousins, getting up to 230 kilos in weight and around 3 meters long. Some white tigers have almost no stripes at all, looking like female lions more than tigers. Unfortunately, whilst white tigers are quite natural, some locations with captive white tigers have tried to breed more white tigers, including interbreeding the same family members, causing severe birth defects. Those born naturally are quite amazing and very rare. Best to leave them that way, rather than keep messing around with nature. So, at number one on our list of most beautiful white-colored animals, we have the harp seal. There are not many things that are as cute and potentially cuddly as a pure white harp seal pup. Native to the Arctic Circle and specifically the sea ice, harp seal pups are adapted to a life living in the harsh cold environments of northern Canada, Greenland, and other parts of the North Atlantic Ocean. Unfortunately, the harp seal only has the white fluffy fur for a few weeks before it starts to turn silver gray. However, Whilst they're newborn pups, they are definitely one of the most amazing white-colored animals you can see. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to ensure you don't miss out on our next amazing video. We'll see you then.